Hey guys, this is Torna, and today we're joined by Mac Italy, the amazing creator behind Gambot, the uh, the brains behind the operation. I'm just the brawn who chucks into some data every once in a while, uh, but he's done an amazing job here, and he's here to show us through Gambot, talk a bit about it, what we need from you guys, but also just the amazing different features that are featured throughout it. <laughs> All right, Mac, you want to yes. introduce yourself a bit? Yeah, hey, I'm Mac. Um, it is an absolute pleasure to get to be here with you uh big fan you know uh long time watcher first time caller for anybody <laughs> that's watching this is our first time actually talking so well, yeah um, we've been talking via text for quite a while it's probably been about almost a year or something like that but we've never actually done voice call or anything right i pitched i pitched building gambot for you a little under a year ago and uh, we kind of just let the ball roll and do all of our communications via discord so this is a uh, a real treat Hmm. It's also just like a scheduling thing as well. Like you're on the other side of the world and being in Australia, it's not easy to collaborate with people, unfortunately, but like, it's been amazing being able to actually, you know, talk to you or even like just via text, but now to be able to call, it's just really great. Yeah. Discord and the fact that they do all this stuff is amazing. Um, enough about us. Let's talk about why we're here though. Um, for anybody that's curious. So Gamba was originally conceived because I, well, first off, um, I have never programmed Discord bots at all. And probably about two, three years ago, I started programming in Python, which is my native language now, and the language that the bot is programmed in. Um, and really enjoy the msf.gg bot. And Zexf had a bot called Ultron, and then there was Clans Warbot. And all of these bots had amazing features. Um, wonderful things and i wanted to be able to do something like that so within my alliance server um x forces peter tingle shout out to those guys we built tinglebot and tinglebot became a tracking resource for our tcp growth every month or every week um ranking positions uh, matchup statistics and kind of a lot of the things you see in in gambot and every time msf.gg would put something in their bot i wanted to be able to do something like that too um, I think the stuff that TyJ and Toxie do is amazing. Uh, big shout out to those guys. I've had to be able to interact with them and, and learn from them. They're amazing. Um, and I wanted to do something like that, but with MSF and with, with a, a, um, an audience, though, that, that could be reached. Um, I had been watching you, Tana. I absolutely enjoy your <laughs> videos. I think you're the most genuine, real person out there. You, you, you tell us when you're having good days. You tell us when you're having bad days, man. And, and I appreciate the hell out of that. So I reached out to you and I said, hey, can I build you a bot? Um, you popped into my server, you kind of saw it, and you just said, uh, yeah. And you let, you let me run with it. Um, gave me a whole bunch of data, and we have just been able to see what we could do with Gambot. And now with the release of Gambot, Gambot 2.0, um, we are really bringing basically an app to users at their fingertips to really be able to access any sort of strike force information and stuff like that and so it's just it's just really cool so let's take some time and kind of show you what is in the bot and how people can use it and what the best way to use this bot is um so first off the reason we had to go from gambot to gambot to gambot 2.0 is because discord is changing their api calls and their messages privileges and intents what that means is that um, Discord is not allowing just any bot to be able to read user input from the command line. So it, we, they're allowing people to be able to build these backends. They use these slash commands and then take user information and then be able to spit out the results. So because I was scared, I was not going to get um, access to message privileges intent. I built Gambot 2.0 around that. Well, when Gambot 2.0 got verified, we were also approved for messages and intents, which is why you're seeing the excl uh, exclamation point commands come in and people are being able to use just straight commands instead of slash commands as well. So the first thing I want to talk about, though, is the home page. Uh, I love this. It gives me an opportunity to kind of look at the user, tell the user what I've done, what I've been working on and what's been updated. Um, you see that here in the main screen. Um, you can see here now I've added a new poll. Oh, hey, what do you think of the new and improved Gambot 2? You can like it, love it, dislike it. You can only love it, basically. So uh, <laughs> I've already voted. Um, let's see what our results are. Hey, 19 for 19. So this looks good. Um, 
But you, you have access to these things just from this home screen. And I've added buttons to go back to the home. So if you need to move back and forth and around, you can really see uh, and navigate more easily. The new things like with the events, I mean, this age of apocalypse coming up, I'm excited. You know, we know that Morgana is uh, is our pestilence. We don't know who famine, war, death are, but we know apocalypse is coming. Uh, and being able to put some stuff in here for scourge events, you know, I'm just scouring the internet and what I can find between Tana's resources or any other CCs out there uh, and then the blog. So the sooner I get information, the sooner I want to be able to push it to people so that they can see it and use it. Uh, similar to the pocket dimension, you know, I kind of threw this together real quick, even though in game there's a typo and it says resolute characters, we are still in the disciple. Um, Pocket dimension. So, Tana, you put together this great tier list. I was able to throw it together, uh, kind of talk about what the rewards were in here. Um, but just so users have something easy to see and come to. You know, I put the event section and we can see what's our first one Living Vampire, um, Celebration, Incantation. And then I've also gotten together with um, some of the Joes and they're putting together these graphics. So, in addition to the text, you'll also be able to see um, event calendars come up in case you don't remember what the blog says. Raids, this is the section I'm going to be expanding on. I want to be able to build in here. Uh, you can see all of the Ultimus maps, the Doom maps, um, Greek raids, and then I don't know why Dark Dimension buttons in here, but there normally is a Dark Dimension button that I'll check. i put that in. Um, and then infographics. You know, what we've done is we've created a drop down and it's got all of your wonderful uh, infographics that people access and resource. Um, we just switched over to doing some blitz teams with Pathfinder and Benny Westside. So we've got some new graphics coming in. Uh, also the addition to a Benny Westside into this little collaboration, you give me the brains, you're the brawn, man, he is creating some beautiful graphics. So, you know, we really kind of are hitting this on a really cool, you know, tripod and and yeah, all three of us adding and contributing to making this bot. Just it's been great like expanding out as well. Like it was just uh, me to start with doing like my own graphics, and then I'm like, okay, well, Max reached out. We can now do a bot, so that way people can access it anytime they want, and we can change and stuff easier. And then I'm like, okay, I'm I'm sitting here. I've got a bubs coming. I've got two kids. I've got all this other stuff. Graphics are not as easy as they used to be. We could bring in someone else that do graphics. And looking at Benny's graphics, he's always been like asking me, oh, can I? Can you get, can I get this picture and stuff like that? And I'm like, uh, seeing the graphics he's done is amazing. So bringing him into the fold, I think was just a no brainer, like to be able to produce those graphics alongside us and be able to do this amazing work. Yeah. And he's got a great attitude. I mean, he's excited and the stuff he's popping out right now is just super, super cool. So I love it. Um, kind of moving forward. We've got a team list here and I've added in addition to the team list, you can see when the last day that it was updated, um, you can see here, we did a Marauders graphic that I added in. So all of the dates are now for Marauders have been changed today. Uh, and these are the technical names for uh, each of the teams. I mean, you see stuff here like where's Secret Avengers, Kestrel, Fury. That's, they also go by Cosmic Shield, you know? Um, but I needed to be able to create a way for people to easily access access the teams that they're looking for. So one of the things that I'm seeing with people is they're having a difficult time using the slash commands and waiting. So let me show you real quick down here. If you look at my inputting, I'm going to type in the slash command team and you'll see here it pops up and it's got team and then it requires one input, which is team. There is no options here because it is an autocomplete and it requires me to type something so that it can auto match here. I typed in black. I see black order. If I back up, let's say I type in Rav. That's going to show me Ravagers, Hell Hydra, Hydra. This is a, uh, it's a function that is being used that's matching the closest matches of anything 60% or higher based on the algorithm. So if you're typing something and you're like, why are the Eternals there for Ravagers? Well, it's because it's still meeting its um, algorithm quota. So I want to do Avengers Captain Marvel. When you use the slash commands originally, that was the only way to bring up the buttons. Now though, I'm making it so that if you use a direct bot command, you'll still get the buttons because the buttons are awesome. This gives you access to the team ISO, team T4, 
variations. You know, look at all the Avengers variations you can do here. Uh, getting back into their war information. Here's the counter, and here's the target. Mm. There are nobody has been attacking uh, anybody with Avengers, Captain Marvel, and submitting it. So there's nothing in there. Um, the the counter and targets have been reformatted to kind of give you a, hopefully an easier view to see what's going on. Whether it's a punch up, punch down. These little numbers next to the records tell you how many entries there have been. Um, do another one of the cool aspects I want to show you is this matchup. Okay, if you're going in and you're going to do a battle, and let's say we're going to take Weapon X in and we want to go against Heroes for Hire. If I do the slash command matchup, this is going to bring me up all of the data that the bot currently has in Rogue's matchup stats about this matchup. Here you can see when your Weapon X and you're fighting against Heroes for Hire, we have 33 current records. The average is about 141% punch up. The minimum we've seen is someone's done 182 punch down and someone has been able to do a 485k punch. Uh, and then down at the bottom, I put in this thing so you can actually see what the TCPs were of the last 10 most recent entries. Okay, so this is a newer feature. Um, so if I don't have 10 entries since I've developed this, it'll only show you what you've got. Here, there's the last six. Looks like down here, somebody with a 605k Weapon X took on a one mil uh, Heroes for Hire and was able to win. So this has just got some great information that you can be able to look at, use, and see. Um, I do want to point out, though, that buttons time out after 15 minutes. That is a Discord thing. I have looked for ways around this to not let them time out or to make them reinitialize if you click whatever. Uh, I haven't figured it out. So buttons time out after 15 minutes. You click it, it says interaction failed. You got to type a command in to do it again. Mm, another fun feature is the lookup command. Now, previously in Gamba 1, I had a way that I could look and see how many times the bot has been triggered. Um, what is, you know, how many guilds or servers am I on? How many people are using the bot, etc. But I wanted people to be able to get more invested in the bot. I want them to feel like they have um, something to gain out of it too. So I've created the lookup command and it's allowed you to be able to see uh, how is the bot being used? So here I'll just do commands and you can see just since it's been released, I've had 36,000 unique commands. Jesus Christ. Uh, it shows you how <laughs> people are using the bot. You know, people have done the slash command to get help 132 times and they've done the exclamation point to get help 87 times. Or, you know, in raids, you've looked at Ultimus raids 31 times. Uh, Age of Apocalypse, people have looked at Pestilence 66, etc. So you can kind of see how are people using the bot? Who's who's looking at what? You know, you want to see the top, the top most searched characters? Well, here's right now, Morbius <laughs> is in the hot seat. 807 unique uh, calls. So that means that people are on Morbius's character page and they're looking at his ISOs, looking at his abilities, looking at his gear, looking at his whatever. So within just Morbius, people have clicked 807 times. So this is, we can also, you want to see what they're clicking on him? I'm glad you asked. So here I can even go into click the character metric, name my character, and then send. And you can see here, People have used the slash command to access him 79 times, used the slash command to access his ability three times, clicked on the character button 120. So you can kind of see all here. I've tried to make it as easy to navigate as possible. Little slashes mean people use the slash command to access. Exclamation point means they use a direct bot command to access. So I love it. If people want to get in and see what they're doing or see how other people are using it, man, jump in. Come in and see this stuff and, and uh, check it all out. The other things I want to show real quick are error reporting and um, this is error reporting and feature request because I appreciate these. Um, when you send this, uh, it sends it posted in two places. You'll see here you've got access to my uh, back end on the Gambot server. But I've got requests and errors that'll post so you can see them. This is where they're all, uh, the names are hidden, but you can see what people are reporting for errors, people are features people are requesting. And then I get it down here and it'll tell me who's sending it, what time they sent it. 
and it allows me to be able to respond back as well. So um, it's neat that everybody can get involved in the error reporting. Everybody can kind of see the feature requests and your anonymity is, is uh, secure. Um, but if I have follow-up questions or if I implement this feature for you, then I can reach out to you and talk to you about it too. So, and and, um, those and those errors and uh, features and stuff, they don't have to just be about Gambot, like stuff like that. It's things that if you would like us to put advice about something as well into Gambot. So like if you want us to update blitz teams or something like that, or update the red star tiers, just put in a feature request and we can do it. And um, it doesn't have to necessarily be just like technical stuff, but like advice and stuff we can go through, talk to Mac about it, how do we can best implement it and everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah, if you find typos, if you stuff, see stuff in graphics, if you disagree and you want Tana to, you know, maybe reevaluate a strategy, send those to us, man. We're, we're looking for, we love the community involvement and, and interaction. Um, real quick, uh, I just got a few more things I want to talk about. The team navigations, team calls, and individual calls, okay? If I want to see a character's T4, I can type T4, and let's do Castro. Boom. If I do... T4 team, now I can look at a team's um, T4 request. Okay. If I want to do ISO, ISO for cats, boom. And if I want to do ISO for an entire team, I can just type ISO team and do it as well. So uh, there are, there are character commands and there are um, team commands. You want to know what the commands are? Go to home and check out help. Here I've tried to go through and I've tried to really be elaborate. Here's this talks about the ISO command. You know, this talks about the ISO slash command, what you see. Here's the direct bot. You want to call a character with ISO name, team, ISO team, name. So I'm really trying to make this stuff as as user friendly, as knowledgeable, create a resource for people um, that they can learn how to use the bot as well. I mean, it's um, insanely intuitive too. Like, it's just, it's, if you didn't know how to use a Discord bot before or anything like that, this will teach you how to use it easily by just, like, just type slash home and it'll take, take you through everything. <laughs> Absolutely. And I've really worked on that too. Uh, because some things that I just presumed people knew, I would get messages about. They'd be like, hey, how do I do this? How do I do that? Um, so... I've really tried to put some time into this to allow people, you know, 24 seven to be able to get the help that they need, um, with this. Um, let's see. One of the big things I need from people right now, and I hope you all are watching and seeing is I need your matchup data or data, right? Uh, take a picture, but make sure that they're teams that I have, you know, this is great. Thank you so much. This is a dark hunters Mordo versus a heroes for hire. I can totally input this in this. This is a dark hunters with Falcon. I, I think we have to add hire. that one in because dark hunters plus Falcon seems to be pretty popular at the moment. Yeah. So we may need to get a yep. variation, but right now I can't, I can't do anything no. with that. So make sure that you're putting in meta teams. Um, it doesn't matter. I mean, if you're using a, an Avengers Captain Marvel against a mer mercenary, uh, let's get that data in, you know, we're, we're filling in on, on clans, uh, 16,000 plus, um, matchups that he had. And now we've been building on top of that ever since Warbot went down. And so we've got this amazing resource, but the new things that we're adding and the new, uh, matchup data, we definitely want new teams are coming in. We don't have data for them because people aren't doing like a, a black order versus an iron man captain, of, you know, yeah. Avengers. So <laughs> we just don't see older teams against newer teams as much as we like to. Yep, and you can do that um, pretty easily. You just go to either the Gambot server or to my server and just go to the matchup data area and you'll be able to chuck them in there for us. Yes, absolutely. Oh, uh, I wasn't planning on this, but I think that the what is section is basically a section for me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, I've put out a whole bunch of stuff for buffs and debuffs and actual like what is slingshotting or grundle jumping and all these different terms that we're finding in strike force but i also love just having fun with this stuff i mean you know having gambot say be still my heart she's my everything 
you know, when you type in what is Rogue or when you type in what is Quake and it's like, yo, Daisy, make that booty shake. <laughs> I mean, these are just some fun stuff. I've done it for a number of characters. Um, and so, you know, just kind of being able to see if people are catching on <laughs> or, uh, or just, you know, all the extra stuff that's in there. It's kind of like hidden Easter eggs for me. And, and the little, the um, is- the little jokes at the top there as well. Like they're freaking hilarious. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love the one-liners, the dad jokes that Gambot is, is, um, pushing out. And you'll notice when, like, for instance, I'm glad you brought that up. So it says here, sauteed chevrets and garlic, Gambot getting hungry. You know, if you don't know what chevrets are, I don't even know what I'm saying. But I've incorporated a lot of the Cajun lingo into the bot. So if you see a term he uses and you don't recognize it, put it into what is. So here we can see that chevrette is a shrimp. So fun little things like that. And then the last is the Easter eggs. Um, with Gambot 1, we had people who could type in Easter eggs. Let's see if I can do... So like here we had some winners off of your uh, Twitch stream one yep. time. And I created a way here that I could easily access other people's uh, Easter eggs. So like here's a fun one, this Mithril. Uh, he loves Yondu and he owns the Ravager, so he wanted this picture of things. So now when he types exclamation high, this pops up for him every single time. So there's a number of people who have their own special Easter egg. Um, I'm playing with mine. Mine just says, Mac, this guy made me. Um, but I, I, this bot is for the community, man. So we, we totally take uh, little donations. You know, you want to give us five bucks, get your own Easter egg in the bot, man. We will totally make that. We will make this happen. Um, and then also, you know, this, this takes a huge amount of time, all of us. And uh, I don't ever expect anything, but I just want folks to know that this is here and any donation is always appreciated. We love you guys. Uh, we do this for free, but if you want to say thank you also, we will totally say thank you. Yeah, exactly. like keep in mind, Max built this whole bot from the ground up essentially. But like there's been no, uh, it, it's been completely for free for the community to try and get you guys as much information as possible, get you guys to be able to know all the different characters, ISOs, all that stuff. And um, and every time it's sent out to different servers and stuff like that, it's we get love back and everything like that. But it's not like it's uh, something that we've been paid for or anything along those lines. much sums up uh everything i want to just let people know about yeah it's uh it's been amazing working with you mac and yeah now that we've kind of got the, the, the two of us starting out and then we bring in benny and uh all of it's kind of like all the advice that we give and everything like that it's always subject to change because we want to hear your thoughts we we give our thoughts but if you guys have different thoughts and everything like that we're happy to kind of take in your information and kind of process it between the three of us figure out what we think and stuff um but like the whole bot has all been mac Max love, Max work, building it all up. And even the switch from Gambot 1 to Gambot 2, you can see the insane amount of love that's gone into it, improving every single feature, expanding upon them, and just making it insane. <laughs> yeah, we had to build it from the from Gambot 2 from the ground up. So it's a completely separate bot, completely independent. Yes, which is, means essentially you've built two complete bots from the ground up and everything. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's been amazing. It's been amazing working with you, Mac, um, for the last kind of year-ish. And yeah, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> gets a bit emotional because it's just been so insanely amazing. Yeah, it's, it's been a wild ride, man. It's been great. Um, and how do you get it to your server? Well... All you have to do is get to a Gambot 2, you click on it in your profile or in its member list, and you'll see a button here that says add to server, okay? As long as you've got the credentials to be able to add it to a server, you can add it to uh, any server that you own or that you have admin rights on, and uh, just put it on there. And that's all it does. It takes about an hour or up to an hour for slash commands to register and for your server to get full permissions. Um, but direct bot commands should work instantly. 
So you could do exclamation point home once you've added it and you will instantly be using it. Yep, and if there's ever any issues, just head on over to the Gambot server and we'll be able to kind of help you through it. Max, uh, available way more than I would think that he should be um, to be able to help you guys as much as possible. Um, I'm available as well, basically 24-7, as much as my wife kind of disagrees with that sometimes. But um, we, we're we always here to help you guys out. That's why we built Gambot, because the, the amount of questions that I get that were, hey, what ISO should I be putting on Scarlet Witch? What ISO should uh, Morbius be running or something like that way back before we built Gambot were crazy. It was probably the most amount of questions that I ever had. But being able to have it so that you guys don't need to feel, I don't know, I, I don't ever feel bad if you guys are messaging me or anything like that. But this way, you don't have to feel bad if you're messaging me. You don't have to feel like you're bothering me with a silly question if you think it's a silly question. Because you can just look it up in Gambot and Gambot will give you all the answers because Gambot's amazing. Agreed. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to finish this up. Um, make sure that you check out the uh, link in the comments. You'll be able to go down there uh, and we're going to be sending you over to the Gambot server. You'll be able to check it out and everything. Um, or just head on over to my Discord. You'll be able to see it there as well. But uh, any closing remarks there, uh, Mac? Uh, hey, MSF community, guys, I love you all. God bless you all. Uh, be well, be love, and be the change you want to see in the world. Yep, easy. Have a great day and goodbye.